Oh, hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela Two Spirits Mendez, and today we're gonna to be turning a boy into a lady boy. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy this makeover. Okay, so here we are. I've been joined by my guest, and we're about to get started. But first, I want him to introduce himself. Oh, you can't see. Stop dropping stuff. <laughs> just, just do the intro, baby. Hey, it's Ken Hefner. What's up? Gay rapper from New Jersey. Um, here with my bestie, my sister from another mister. Daniela, two spirits, pain in my ass, Mendez. Um, Honey, we gotta be, we gotta go easy on the cursing, darling. We, we want to get these YouTube. videos monetized. Yeah. Everyone curses on YouTube. But anyway, yeah, so I'm here to help her out today. She's gonna um, take this wonderful looking boy and, and turn him into, what do you call it? A lady boy. She's into, into the supreme of the covet. Okay? There's only one supreme, and that's me. Take off that hair, we'll see if that's true. Uh, anyway, let me start beating his mug before I physically actually beat him. <laughs> okay, so you're moisturized and ready to go? Yes, I am. Okay, cool. So the first thing I wanna do is we wanna put some primer on his face because he does have dry skin. So we're gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Primer. This is actually, um, when I was doing um, a round of Accutane, this was actually the primer that I swore by because it was super hydrating and it like, it, when I, it took away all the flakes, right? So, because when you're on Accutane, what it does is it really dries out your skin, so your skin gets really flaky, and this primer helped with that. So, this is the primer we're going to apply to his face. Now, my hands are clean, so I'm going to- I was to, gonna say, I hope my, I just washed my hands. My, my nails might be a different story, <laughs> but my, my actual, my actual- I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> my, actual, my actual hands are clean. Now, if you hear someone laughing in the background, we have a couple of friends in the, you know, in the uh, studio, honey. So that's what you hear. So we're gonna take this prime. Oh, oh, my fingers are getting caught, honey. Ooh. Oh, baby, she didn't get a close shave, darling. <laughs> Neither did she. I get laser hair removal, <laughs> like a real lady, mm. boy. <laughs> okay, so now your face is nice and primed. So a lot of the queens. After they put on their primer, they like to, you know, pull out a fan and dry it. Oh. But I'm not that gay, so today we're gonna be using a palette. But she is that broke. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so please subscribe to this video so I can make some coins. <laughs> please. Oh, okay. So you okay, can. So it we're off. we're just dry, we're just trying to dry the um the primer before we apply the foundation. Well, actually, no. What we're going to do is. So normally in um, a regular makeup routine, I would apply the primer, then the foundation, and then the concealer. But since he has a lot of dark shadows, as you can see. From shaving, it sucks. He has a lot of dark shadows, not only from shaving, but because he's a man and has a beard. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not from shaving. Keep up with your laser, baby. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to apply the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. And this is orange, right? Yeah, this is orange. So what, what this is going to do is cancel out this shadow here, hopefully. So I'm going to take this beauty blender and I promise you this is not my beauty blender, this is his beauty blender. <laughs> Cause mine look like this, nice and clean. I don't know what all is going on here. So you're gonna exploit me and diss the, my, my, my products? Honey, you're just a model, hush your mouth, and let let me do your makeup. Why is this coming out clear? I can't work in these conditions. I don't think I wanna be here anymore. Okay, so we have our orange <clears throat> LA something, 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 another concealer, and we are going to apply in all the areas where you see a dark shadow. And we're going to do that now. Okay, so as you can see, we have the orange concealer placed on his face. We've canceled out his black and blue coloring. And now... Did you say I was black and blue? No, we canceled out the black and blue coloring, honey, from your, from your shadow, your beard. So now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, as an extra precaution, to kind of make sure that that is concealed, because there's nothing worse than being in drag and your shadow coming through. I hate that, such a pet peeve of mine when I see the girls looking like that. 
I'm going to take um, this little mini shape tape concealer. I'm not even sure. It's in the color deep. And I'm going to apply a little bit of it over the orange before I apply the foundation. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Okay, so now we have the concealer applied. So now the next step in the process is going to be to put on some foundation all over this boy's face. Because he's still a boy and not yet a woman. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is we have the Fenty Beauty Foundation in, Pro Filter Foundation in the 430, I think it is. Does that say 430? Yes, 430. Okay, in 430. Um, so what we're going to do now is just apply this to the beauty blender and then put it on this face. Okay, y'all. So now what's in your cup? Juice? Mind your business. None of your business. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, now we have... What's in your titties? The language. Oh, I'm sorry. Her breastular area. What's in that? <laughs> Um, we are not going to talk about my body because I am sick of my body being sexually objectified. <laughs> so we're going to stick on your face <laughs> because there's a lot to cover with this face. So, um, we have the foundation evenly applied. I know it still might look a tad bit orange, but we will correct that in a few seconds when we apply the powder. So now <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the concealer, uh, it's by Rimmel London. Um... 400 medium dark lasting finish 25 hour breathable concealer so we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the areas that we want to highlight so we want to highlight under the eye we want to highlight the forehead the bridge of the nose a little bit on the chin and then a little bit right here above the lip which i believe some people call the cupid's ball and that is what we are about to do right now so here we go <coughs> So as you can see, before I blend this out, I want you, can you turn your face a little bit? I want you guys to see the areas that I applied the concealer to. So these are the areas, I don't think he's gagging right now, but these are the areas that we will, we, we not that we will, we do want highlighted. And now I'm going to blend them out. Okay, so as you can see, we have the concealer blended out in the areas that we needed it to be blended out in. Yes. Okay. Did they get brighter? My ring light is acting crazy okay so the concealer is blended out now the next thing we're going in my hands can you guys see my hands they look crazy so the next thing we're going to do is <clears throat> set um his face with powder so i'm going to be using for under the eyes i'll be using the cody um air spun powder in the translucent extra coverage so i'm going to take some of this pour it into the um, top and I'm going to take the same beauty blender if you guys um, haven't seen this technique yet this is one of the best ways to set your face for uh, don't ask me why it just it just looks better for some reason it looks a little bit more airbrushed because you're actually pressing it in with the damp beauty blender as opposed to using a brush or um, just a regular dry sponge for some reason the beauty blender it gives you a more of an airbrush look when you use it so we're just going to take this then now this is the translucent um air spun powder and we're going to set his concealer and we just got way brighter we're going to set his concealer okay so now we have his um concealer set with the translucent powder now we're going to go in with the laurier lore <laughs> <laughs> with the Laura, Laura Mercier, Mercier, I'm sorry, tongue twister, the Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Powder, and we are going to set the rest of his face with the same beauty blender just on the other side and this powder. So I'm going to tap, 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 tap. You see this face? We need some more taps. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, y'all, so we have his face set. We've just set it with the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Translucent Powder. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead in with um, this color here and I'm going to try to chisel out some cheekbones for him. Remember I said we're going for more of a natural look so it might not look like bam, bam, bam on camera, but in person you can see a little bit of a definition. Okay, so now that the face is pretty much done, we've contoured, we highlighted, um, we blushed out the face. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on these eyes. So, um, the eyes are actually not going to be done on camera, so I'm going to do these eyes really quickly, and we will be right back. Don't. 
Okay, baby dolls, here we are. We're back. We have applied the eye. Now it's something very light and natural. It's just a natural smoky eye. There's nothing too major going on. And now what we're going to do is fill in these eyebrows. As you can see, his eyebrows are actually fairly masculine. There's really not much of an arch. There's not much going on in them. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't glue them down. So therefore we're just going to go with a natural lash. We're not going anywhere. This beat is just for fun. But, um, so here we go. I'm actually going to brow them down with one of my favorite eyelash products, which is the Benefit Gimme Brow in the 3.5. So here we go. Okay. So the brows are gelled down and now what we're going to do is one of my favorite mists or setting sprays or whatever you want to call it the fresh vitamin nectar antioxidant glow water skin nutrition face mist with a vitamin fr a fruit complex bam we are going to spritz his face with this and just give his face a little bit of hydration because he's looking very matte right now are you liking the way i shoot this liquid all over your face are you living for it i think i should get tested <laughs> <laughs> my panel came back negative <laughs> so then i'm just gonna dry this once again i don't have a fan this is the hood we don't use them fans up in here we just use whatever uh flat object that we have near us honey just like when i was younger my grandma would pick up whatever was next to her and beat me with it so now what i'm going to do is um i'm going to highlight can we call you a her yet not yet she doesn't have hair on Oh, but then again, Amber Rose walked around bald-headed for quite a while, so I think we call you her. So now, since she's looking a little bit more feminine, we're going to highlight her cheekbones. I'm going to be using the color Wish from the um, Anastas Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Okay, so she is highlighted. She is contoured. Her eyes are done. Her brows are gelled. The final steps that we have are to give her a lip and a lash and some hair. We're going to, what is it, like a chia pet? She's about to be a chia pet, honey. It's just gonna grow in front of our eyes. <laughs> so give us one second. I'm going to apply the lip, the lash, and the hair, and get some clothes on this woman, this lady boy, <laughs> and we'll be right back. Okay, babies, here we are. Oh my God, what do you guys think? This was such a challenge for me. Um, I'm not used to really doing other boys makeups um and especially on um, darker skin girls um it's not my forte it's not my thing but how do you think i did let me know in the comments rate me let me know let me you know if you want to i didn't say rate <laughs> me. i said rate me um let me know um i just turned a boy into a lady boy you're kind of giving me a like you know you could be um Say it, go ahead. You could be the spawn of Lil Mo and Nicki Minaj. Lil Mo, how dare you? Yeah, that's you know, I'm, you're giving me the love Lil Mo. Video <laughs> cover, cut it, cut it, um, cut it. So I mean, did you have fun? I had a good time. It was. It was what a do good you time. think? How are you liking the look? Well, this is a supreme. Huh? This is this is this is good form. This is good form. I feel very Nicki Minaj. I feel very, 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 very feminine. Like. His hair is everything. I think she's kind of mad, actually. Um, I'm not mad. Do you hear your voice and you hear mine? Can you give me your best feminine voice? Can you give me yours and I'll give you mine? <laughs> the shade is real, <laughs> boys and girls. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit that bell so you can be up to date every time I post a new video. Peace and love.